Vasus Los, it's your German boy here, and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. Now, in the last episode, we actually learned a bit about how airplanes work, and what exactly makes them fly through the air, and we made a promise to get some parts fabricated, which resulted in a bit of a glomp bomb getting dropped on us, so... I have a feeling this is the guy who can uh, make us those parts, so let's pick up where we left off, shall we? Let's do this. Alright. I went back to the dormitory and someone called out to me when I was at the gate. Aoi? Anchan! When I saw who it was, my level of enthusiasm went up by 500%. Standing there was Anchan. I was thinking about going to see you tomorrow or somewhere. Anchan ruffles my hair. Hey, stop that, will ya? Completely ignoring my attempts to resist, Anchan gives me a noogie, grinding my hair round and round. I think that my hair's probably messed up pretty badly by now. This is Tatsuya Igarashi, commonly known as Anchan. He's a childhood friend of Ageha and mine, and is like a real big brother to us. He's much older than us, but we used to play together a lot as kids. Ah, jeez, you're messing up my hair, goddammit. <laughs> you haven't changed either, Anchan. Still the same as before. <clears throat> oh, isn't it? What Anchan says is true, but to me, I'd rather Anchan just stay the same as he is now. As I think about that, Anchan all of a sudden has a kind look on his face. Yeah, well, enough for everyday life. It's no big deal. I can have a normal life like this. On top of that, I had you there to watch me in that race when I tried the hardest. I came third, though. In my previous school, I was in the cycle racing club. In the final race of the first grade, I was able to take the third place spot on the podium. It was my best result. For that race, Anchan traveled a long way to come and watch me. Yeah, I guess. Because of Anchan's kindness, I felt a little tearful. He sensed how I was feeling and started to mess up my hair again. This time, it wasn't so rough. Yeah. We used to play here a lot. We'd come sneaking in. Oh, hmm? That wasn't what Anchan was talking about just now. Someone was hiding in the shadow of the gate. <laughs> Kotori. It looked like she couldn't get past because Anchan and I were on the way. She could have just spoke to us normally, but instead, she was hiding and watching us. A little sus. Konnichiwa, ojo san. Konnichiwa. Kotori was still being cautious, but returned the greeting. Then we got out of our way, then went into our composed mode and entered the dormitory. You know her? 
ああ時々街で見かけるうちの工場の近くにでかい犬がいるだろうあ、uh, パテグリー There's a big dog that goes by that name I'm sure it was a Saint Bernard 昨日はペリグリーの近くをうろうろしてたな。Was she by any chance trying to stroke his head? ああ、そんな感じだった。食い物をあげたりしてたんだが、あの犬、飼い主の餌以外食べないからな。As I thought, that was in the things I want to do list. Stroke the head of the big dog in the neighborhood. It's really scary, but it might not expect it to be. If possible, I'd like to ride around on its back. So she was skipping school to go and do things like that? Well, I'll forget about Kozuri for now. It's good to be back, Anchan. <laughs> I seemed a little embarrassed as I answered, and Anchan grinned at me. Parting with those words, Anchan turned to leave. Oh, that's right, Anchan!、Hmm? I know this is a bit soon, but could I have a favor to ask? I took the parts that Amane had left with me out of my bag. Along with it, a memo was written with the dimensions and so on written down. I need some parts the same as these. Would you be able to get one? Anchan's family runs a factory. It's known as the Town Factory, and it seems that they manufacture special order made parts. Anchan works there right now. If Anchan can't do it, he might be able to use his connections with other engineers to introduce me to other factories. Anchan looks at the broken parts and the memo. Oh, いい He quickly answered. Sweet! Thanks, Anchan! Anchan raised one hand and turned to leave. Thanks to the fact that I was able to meet Anchan, I went back to my room in a good mood.、Hmm, we got some nice digs. I put my hand on the saddle as a bicycle in the corner of my room. I'm proud to have been able to stand on the podium in front of a bro like Anchan. Before I realized, Kotori was next to me. What are you doing here? I hadn't realized, actually. Do you want something? Without answering my question, Kotri opened the drawer in the desk. It looks like she's looking for something. There was nothing that I didn't want her to see, so I was unfazed when I questioned her. What are you doing? I know, but shouldn't you at least get the consent of the owner of the room first? Got what? Apparently, she was looking for the withdrawal notice I'd picked up before. I don't know what you're looking for, but I don't think it's in here. Did you say something? Seems like her search has come to a stop. However, Kotori isn't leaving the room and continues looking around. I don't have many things. Thanks to that, moving house was easy. 
All three were staring straight at the bike, which gave off a unique presence in my room. I panicked at being asked so frankly. I... It's no big deal. Looks like she was listening to my conversation with Anchan. I just had a bit of an injury. But look, it's fine now. I lightly swing my leg to show her. It's fine, really. Why do you ask? There's no need for you to worry about it. Kotori makes a straight face and goes back to her room. You're going again tomorrow, aren't you? Huh? To the garage, at lunch. <laughs> I'm not going. Is what it felt like she was gonna say. <laughs> she answered and panicked as she left my room. Looks like I should make three lunchboxes this time. Today didn't go well either. Today's breakfast was another dismal failure. All the boarders showed their faces in the dining hall for breakfast, but the only one who finished hers was Kanako. There must have been something wrong with it. All I have to do is make meals and clean, but a piece of cake. That's what I thought when I accepted the job as Dormulter, but my confidence is gradually fading. What do you want? Masatsugu, joining me on his way to school, went out of his way to come and sling verbal abuse. A few things happened at the dormitory. Dealing with girls can be tough. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she a freshman at Saisen Girls School? Saisen Girls High School is a school for rich girls and is famous even in this neighborhood. The uniform has a reputation for being cute, so... Oh, God. He looks like he's about to show me, so I go along with it. Whoa! Seriously? She's cute. Mabu, you can play guitar. Oh, shit hot. He goes as he shows off some great hair guitar. Anyway, who the You don't know Yingwei Malmstein. I am so disappointed in you. Yeah, I was. What about it? Yeah, I don't really do it anymore. Aww. Masatsugu's face seemed to say it's got nothing to do with me, though. Did you hear that from Anchan? Anchan That made me go a bit red. Oh, 
別に応援なんかするつもりなかったんだからな Yeah, yeah, I get it. Don't get so flustered. アゲハのやつ悔しがってたぞ。お前のいいとこ見られなくて。お前そういうの分かってんのか ?Nine, I didn't know.I never thought that I would make it to the podium.Even if I knew it was too far away for me to say, come and watch me. なのにろくに連絡もよこさねえでよ。Same goes for both of us. Besides, I send you a New Year's card every year, didn't I? Anna Kombini de Utter Printo Zuminazde ka! You did the same thing. Anyway, your New Year cards usually arrive at the end of January. Kaeste Morae dake arigatai to mue kono! Oh, Mezrashi Futarigumi Hakke! はい、アゲハーはよーすおどうしたのマーボーマサツグースニークリーハイディングマイシャドウ別に何でもねえよあんま慣れ慣れしくすんなよエリちゃんが怒るからはいはいかわいいかわいい彼女ですもんねー<笑>ジョーキングはリバリーキープするディスタンスフォーマサツーグーはシュウォークス。マサツーグーカムズアップハッサイドにギズニオルポーキンズリブス。さっきの話、アゲハにはないしょな。That thing. あいつがお前のレース見に行きたがってたって話。OK、I got it. Is this the sort of thing that needs to be kept a secret at all? Nani o t o k o d o s t e beta beta steno? Tigeo, Tarego Conezzo, Pepe. No, gross. You don't have to actually spit. Jesus Christ. Naka ine, Yoketoa. Baka, ya. Yeah, don't say weird things like that. <laughs> What the frick? <laughs> lunchtime. Today, I didn't eat my lunchbox early. As I best in this tiny sense of achievement and got my lunchbox out, Kotori had already disappeared from the classroom. <laughs> As she looked out into the hallway, she was moving back and forth as if she were to say, Shall I go forward? Nine. Maybe I should go back. Are you waiting for me? <laughs> Letting out a cry, not really befitting, pretty little girl. Kotori fanned herself with her left hand as if to calm herself down. <laughs> Sorry, I only wanted to speak to you, that's all. You're going, aren't you? To the garage? Eh, so you. Bet you're not a mate to walk it on my kiddo. Okay, should we go? I push your wheelchair on the way. Here, hold this, would you? I pass my bag to her. <laughs> oh, holy frick. <laughs> We're back. The garage was open, but there was no one there. For some reason, it felt like Amane was always here, so it was a little surprising. The air conditioning's not turned on, so it's quite humid in here. What should we do? Kotori subconsciously put her hand on her stomach. Shall we have our lunch in here? I made one for you too, Kotori. Well, I mean leftovers for breakfast. Kotori didn't come to have any breakfast this morning, so she shouldn't have any way of knowing what food was served. Is that 
Hm? Nein, das ist keine Meddling. Eins, zwei, drei. I put the three lunch boxes on the workbench. I went to the trouble of making one for Amane too, though. The air conditioner isn't turned on in the garage, so if I just leave it here, it'll go bad. There's a refrigerator, so I decide to put it in there. If I leave a note on the desk, she'll realize then eat it, won't she? Could you turn on the electric fan? Kotori turns on the nearby electric fan. I can't find the remote controller. It's probably buried somewhere. We open up the lunch boxes in the place. It gets the full force of the wind from the electric fan. That's a weird way to say it. <laughs> this morning's breakfast was curry. You don't like it? You can complain after you've eaten it. Kotori has a meek look on her face as she moves the cold curry towards her mouth. It would be good if we had a microwave, though. For a little while, the two of us quietly eat our curry. Today, there's no sheet covering the glider. I gazed at the simple, sleek shape of its body and thought it was beautiful. I imagine the aircraft cutting through the air as it flew. Then riding a bicycle, your greatest enemy is the wind. Huh? Kotori's face seemed to say, what is this guy talking about all of a sudden? But I carry on regardless. The worst thing is when you have a headwind. While it's constantly pushing you back, you have to keep pedaling. I face the wind coming through the electric fan, set the strong, and I remember that feeling a little. The feeling of the wind gradually draining my stamina. That's why when we ride a bicycle, we try to find ways to reduce air resistance. Not just the shape of the bike as a helmet. During the race, we cooperate with the members of other teams and form a group while riding. I thought that when riding a bike, it would be better if the wind wouldn't blow. But this thing rides the wind to fly. If we hadn't actually seen it flying that day, even with the real thing right in front of us, we wouldn't be able to imagine it flying. Speaking of which, Kotori, how do you know about gliders? She didn't really know that much about them, because that was the first time she'd seen a real one. Somehow, it seems like it's hard for her to answer, so I decide not to go any further. Speaking of books, there's a bookshelf here, lined with many of them. Looking closely, they all related to gliders or aircraft. I pick one up and take a look inside. It's all in English. I can't read it. Not like my grades in English are bad, but with the level of English I have from studying at school, reading academic papers is really tough. Seems like Kotori is the same. There was a book that had many photos of gliders, like a catalog. There are so many different types. The shape of the wings, the size, and so forth. Even with gliders, there are so many different varieties. What's happening in this picture? looked so natural that I didn't really notice, but the glider was flying high enough that it could look down on the mountain. They can fly that high? Kotori and I, without realizing, both look at the glider sitting over there. 
With its wings removed, we couldn't really grasp the full size of it, but at a glance, it didn't seem all that different to the glider in the photo. Amani had said that it could go above the clouds. I wonder what it feels like to fly through the sky like that. <laughs> After we finished our lunch boxes, we stayed for a little longer. We spent the time looking at books and admiring the glider. And you know what? I think that signals that it's time for us to take a little break. So I'll leave it off here tonight. And, you know, we'll pick this up next week. So, till then, it's been your German boy. Avida Zen.